Hi class, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Good to see you. How is everybody? Hello, how and are how are you? Fine, teacher, and you? Good, I'm pretty good. Uh, just uh, finishing off the week, which is, well, I still, well, I work tomorrow, so I'm not completely finished, but um, but we're almost finished. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one day. <laughs> Yeah, one day we'll finish. <laughs> one, one, one more day. Yes, that's right. Um, hello, Fabiola. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Good. How how has your week been so far, Fabiola? Mm -hmm. How has your week been so far? Until no, the moment, how has your week been? In, in this, okay, so all of this time from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and well, today is now Friday. How is your week? Is it a good week, bad week, stressful week? I don't know. What kind of week? Okay, from Monday to Friday, how uh -huh. is your week, all of the week, is it a good week or a bad week? Good okay. week. It's a good week? Okay. Yes. It's not too stressful? Not too much no. stress? No. No? Okay, good. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. That's important. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, uh, Francisco, how are you, Francisco? Francisco Javier, are you there? Hello? Francisco? <laughs> I think. Maybe ha having internet problem problems, I think. Okay, Marvin, welcome. Hello, Marvin. Okay, I think maybe also had, Marvin, are you having internet problems? Okay, well, all right. Oh, um, okay. All right, um, if you guys can help me with the cameras, that'd be great. So if Marvin, if you can hear me, if maybe you can, um, maybe you can, uh, what's it called? Um, a, turn on the camera and Edgar as well. Edgar Alfredo, also, if you can turn on the camera. That would be great if you guys can help me with that. Okay, welcome everybody. So we finally made it to Friday. Yay! We finished the week, right? Now we're good. Good evening, Edgar. Good to see you. So, what are our plans for the weekend? What do we plan to do this weekend? What is the plan? Any any plans? Any interesting plans for the weekend? Um, no, nothing. No interesting plans. Oh, Edgar, no, you're you're not planning to do anything interesting on the weekend. Um, the possibility, teacher, um, the beach. Ooh, the beach. Nice. What, what beach are you going to go to? What? What beach are you going to go to? 
I go. What did I go? Yeah. What is the name of the beach? Ah. Um, the Tumco Beach. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So I think you're going to do more than swimming. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. Good All evening. Right. Oh, good evening, Marvin. Okay, are you at work, Marvin? Yes. Oh, okay, I see. Well, thanks for joining us. Oh, okay. Excuse me. No, it's okay, it's okay. Well, we're just happy that you were able to join us. You should. Yeah. You should. Eh, ahora que estoy en mi trabajo, de vez en cuando me voy a tener que ausentar por un pequeño lapso de tiempo. Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, try to connect um, as much as possible, right? Because remember that um, uh, the attendance is also being evaluated, right? So just um, try as much, okay? Yes. Eh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, for the next week, uh, the Monday of Wednesday, I think I can salir unos 10 minutes antes de la clase para poderme venir a mi trabajo. You're going to be going to work early? Sí, a las 10 voy a estar trabajando lunes y de lunes a jueves de la próxima semana. Oh, okay. Well, um, if you have to, you know, what can I say? Okay. <laughs> right? But, um, you know, just try, the idea is that we remember Attendance is important, so um, it's it's necessary that you um, that you attend as much as possible, right? So just be careful that you you don't um, you over the, the like. I mean, you need to have a Just be careful. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, um, wonderful guys. So um, I'm going to take attendance right now. Just give me a moment. Okay, let me take attendance. Moment. Hmm. This thing doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is, since I it doesn't want to cooperate, um, I'm just going to take attendance of the people that I can see right now. Okay, so I can see Andres. Andrés Vandivieso. And I can see Fabiola Georgina. Okay, uh, so we have Alejandra Maria. Alejandra Maria, no. Okay, Alejandra, Maria. Um, eh, Andrés, 
Valdivieso is here. I can see you. And um, we have Edgar. Present teacher. Edgar is here. Good. Um, Elsie Janet. Elsie Janet. No, right? No, I can't see her. No. Okay. Um, Fabiola. Fabiola is here. That's right. Okay, good. All right. Um, Francisco Javier. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Francisco, uh, is your camera working? Yeah, but I driving. Oh, okay. No wonder it was it was very dark. I was like, are, is he there or no? Okay, that's okay. No problem. And Irene, Irene Azucena, no, no, okay. All right, um, Jennifer Magali. Present. Right. Got it. Present. Okay, yeah, I gotcha, thanks. Eh, um, Josue Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, there he is, yes, I saw him. Okay, good. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Got it. Uh, Julio Cesar? It's here, right? Yes. Right here, right here. Got it. Okay. Oh. Carla Cano? No, right? Okay, and the other Carla? No. Eh, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Mariela? Mariela de Los Angeles? No. Okay. Um, let's see. Marvin Wilfredo? He's here. Present teacher. Mm -hmm, gotcha. Uh, Marvin, oh no, hold on. Uy, que pasó, pero. Manuel, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro, no, right? Okay. Eh, Manuel de Jesús, me comía. Manuel de Jesús, no, right? Tampoco. Okay. Okay, Manuel is, okay, so then we have Marvin Wilfredo is here. Uh, Warner, no, right? Warner's not here. Okay, and um, Soyla, Noemi? Soyla, 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 Noemi, no, right? Wow, ¿cuántos han faltado hoy? Um, Suleyma Ivonne. Present. All right, excellent. Okay, good. Um, all right, guys, excellent. Thank you guys for being responsible and being here on time. I'm happy to, to um, see you guys. All right, well, today, guys, uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to review everything that we have learned during this week. That's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna review and review and everything. So. What we're going to do first of all is start. Um, give me a moment. Okay, tell me when you can see it. Tell me when it's possible for you to see it. You see it? No. Yeah, yes. 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 Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Um. A moment. Okay. There we go. It's better. All right. So today, uh, we're going to be. Today is already day. 10 
So imagine we are already, we are halfway through the course. That's amazing, incredible. Okay, so what we're gonna do, well, today is day 10, um, the date is Friday, March 12th, 2021. And the first thing what we're gonna do, I ask you guys to, um, to do this for homework, right? So it says work in groups, take out your seven sentence paragraph explaining what you would do if a customer wanted a refund due to a bad service or product he or she paid for. Give your classmates your opinion about what they wrote about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sharing those sentences that I asked you to do for homework. You're gonna be sharing those sentences with your classmates. And you're gonna be giving your opinion about what your classmates said. You agree with what they said, you don't agree with what they said, you're going to give your own opinion. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Clear for everybody? Yes, clear. Anybody have any questions? So this has to do with the homework I left yesterday, right? The, remember the homework was to write the seven sentence paragraph. Okay, and you were explaining if a partner, if a customer came to your workplace and they wanted a refund because they believed that the bad, the service was bad or the product they paid for was bad, and they said, no, 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 I want my money back. In that case, what would you do? Okay, so I'm going to get you guys to work in groups. Um, Let's see, let's create, we have 10 people. So let's create, um, you know what? I think I'm gonna make three groups. Let's make three groups. And so that uh, we'll have most people with three or four, well, three, three, three or four participants. Okay, and remember, the idea is not just to read your paragraph. That's, that's too basic, that's boring. What I want you guys to do is to also give your opinion. What do you think about your classmates? What would they do? Do you think it's a good idea? You think it's a bad idea? Would you do the same thing, et cetera, et cetera? Okay, all right, so here we go. Let's open up all these rooms. Juan Francisco, oh, wonderful, okay. Dog is, is barking. Yeah. <laughs> the dog is barking, don't worry about that. Okay. What about you, Fabio? You want to start? Okay. Any no. questions so far, by the way, before we, we begin? Do you guys have any questions about what you have? No, I think, no, I think we're fine. We we're just yeah, about to start. because this is a sample. Uh, no, for um, our job because we are services in for uh, the custom, no, for customers. Yeah, I I understand. I understand that maybe that's not your area, but uh, maybe at some moment uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to. Um, you would find yourself with somebody that a customer that would want a refund 
and maybe you say, okay, maybe what you're going to say is, well, I can't help you, but yeah. I will transfer you or I will show you the person that can help you. And that's what you would do. Yeah. Okay. Right. So maybe the person, um, maybe you can't directly help the person, but you can help them to get the right um, help that they need. To get to the right place. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So that's yeah. what you would do, right? You would direct them to the right person. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No. Uh, no, I think we're, we're fine. Okay, great. So go ahead, start talking. And if you guys need any help, I'll see you in a moment. All right, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. For my example, uh, the customer buy that they brought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Está. Okay. ¿Tú estás grabando? ¿Quién está grabando? Creo que la teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno, um, um, it's always it's always recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually um it's that's the the whole the whole class gets recorded. So yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, but I I, I see it in in, in the square of uh, right now. Uh, before <laughs> I I don't see it. Oh right. okay, you just noticed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh well. Uh, teacher, um, bueno, um, Giovanni is, uh, is offline. I don't know what happened. And Jennifer, oh, oh, or is here, yeah, it is now. Giovanni? Yeah, yes. Uh, ah, okay. I, I have okay. a problem with the energy, but. Ah, no, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Do you know how um, to do it? Sorry. Do you have any questions? Do you guys know how to, what to do? You uh, have a um, microphone. Uh, sorry? We have to do seven sentences. Like, well, uh, that was for homework. That's what you had uh, to do for homework. But do you understand what you have to do right now? Mm. It's about uh, a customer that he is Teacher, is my connection or, or your... Sorry, what was that, Andres? Uh, it's, it's about a customer asking for a phone or not. Yeah, it's about a customer asking for the refund and you're going to share what you wrote with the class. With the, it's the homework. Oh, you, you did the uh, homework? Yesterday. Yes. 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 Mm. Okay, so now you just have to share that homework with uh, your classmates. Okay. That's all. Okay. Okay. But I just have uh, six sentences. Okay, well, share those six mm -hmm. sentences. Oh no, we lost somebody. <laughs> okay, I guess he was having bad connection. That place. Uh, I you can see it. It's this one. I see it. As to the customer, that kind of problem he, she, or he, she, he has. Generally, I refer explaining the complaint. El orden los 225 dólares, ¿no? De ahí, el... What did you say? 
<laughs> I got two. Okay. Hey. You got busted. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, all right. Just yeah. I just just say say that in English. Ven la ven la imagen con la con la con los siete con los seis seis líneas, ¿verdad? Seven, bueno, six, seven things, sentences. For... No sé qué les parece. Seven sentences. Uh -huh. Remember the idea is to also share your opinion. Do you agree? Like, uh, who's sharing? Edgar, Edgar. Okay. Hi. What do you what do you what do you think about what Edgar would do? Do you agree with it? Do you think it's a good idea? Bad idea? What? Sorry, no. No, no se escucha. Se oyen unos niños. Sí. I saw the children. Okay. I'll repeat. What do you think about what Edgar would do? Do you agree with what he would do? Do you think it's a good idea, a bad idea? What? What do you think? Give your opinion. Ah, okay. For me, it's okay. The paragraph that he made. Okay, but not just the paragraph. Give your opinion about what he would do, right? So yes, I think it's a good idea because of this and this and that. So like give your, your opinion, right? Not just say good, bad, right? Like say why, what, what do you think about it? What's your opinion? Um, I think, uh... I think that uh, the question was, uh, can I do is, uh, is a client um, request a uh, uh, refund? refund. Uh -huh, uh, Mm. Eh, en Spanish, en Spanish, pues, eh, yo creería que tendría que ser qué, qué tengo que hacer o qué haría yo. Eh, eh. Y Edgar como que ha presentado el problema. Entonces, tendría que ser, yo llegué, te reclamé porque me están cobrando y qué harías tú. Te, qué Teacher. Lo que, uh -huh. Teacher. Uh, yeah, I read my 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 homework. My homework. Ah, uh -huh, my homework. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, number one, the first step will be to ask you to fill out the reimbursement for 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 correctly. Uh, the following will examine the product or service to corroborate if they actually have the defect that the client expressed in the form. Uh, but based in, on this information, I will analyze to possible reimbursement. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good, yeah. Exactly. And then you would say, do you agree with what Marvin said? You think it's a good idea? You think it's a bad idea? What? What do you think about what Marvin said? Or you can ask him to repeat if you didn't understand what he said. Yes, repeat, uh, please, uh, Marvin. Okay, the first step will be to ask you to fill 
of the reimbursement for correctly. Two, the follow will examine the product or service to corroborate if they actually have the defect that the client expressed in the form. Based on this information, I will analyze, analyze? Analyze. Analyze the possible reimbursement. The correct feature re reimbursement. 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 Re um, the the uh, Marvin the the reimbursement and uh, is a service or product. Uh, twice. The res reimbursement 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 is este reintegrar. Ah, okay, uh, okay. Uh, the products of of uh, or service. Uh, anywhere. Ah, oh, okay. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. You think it's good, bad? What, what's your opinion? Mm, I think I think good. It's just good. Uh, can I read my homework? Mm. Okay. Of course, of course, one one does this go ahead. Okay. Uh, I will uh, start to asking. Which is the reason for request the reform? I need to now know it. Do I can help you? Also, I will request him that show show me the reply. Receive or reply. Mm -hmm. Receipt. Receipt. And. Um, I know is the customer still has warranty. Also, I ask him is he bring the product that he wants their refund. I require it for I check it. That's excellent, Juan Francisco. Very good. Bravo. Very, very good. <laughs> Okay. My English is bad. <laughs> oh no, that was very, very good. Yeah. Just be careful with the pronunciation. Too. Yeah, right? It was very good. Um, just be careful with the pronunciation. It's refund. 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 This is on the first syllable. Refund. Not refund. refund. It's refund. 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 Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, Suleyma, have you shared yours? Uh, no, teacher. Yesterday I have uh, problems with my internet connection and I go out of the meeting around 10 o'clock and I don't hear about the homework. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Okay, well, for the next time, what you can do if that happens, um, so you don't miss the homework, is uh, you can watch the video of the parts that you um, you were not able to 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 be in class, and um, and that way you don't miss anything, right? Okay, okay, so that's something you can do for the future. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, wonderful. All right, so I think we have already, we have most people here. Okay. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do now is, um, I'd like to share this with you. Um, give me a moment. So yesterday we talked a little bit about using the wood and the would like to, right? The difference between would and would like to. And we saw that with would, we always use an, a base form of the verb after. So for example, I would change this product. Just give me a moment. Okay, so notice that the verbs like are going to be in the base form of the verb, right? Change, buy, stay, and give, right? So all the verbs are going to be in the base form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, since they are in the base form, that means that independent of the subject, it's going to, it's not going to change. So if you notice, for example, in this one, the subject is I, and in this one, the subject is he, and this one, the subject is we, and this one, the subject is you. So notice we have different subjects, but it doesn't matter what the subject is because independent of the subject, we're always gonna have the base form of the verb, okay? So that's what we learned last class. Now, what we also learned last class was that when we have would like to, which means that it's something you decide and you prefer, with this one, it's gonna be different because in this one, uh, we have after would like to and would like, we always, we use the base, the, the, the to infinitive here. Okay, so would like to infinitive. Okay, would like to come, would like to get. Okay, so to, to, after would like, we use the base form, so it's a to infinitive, okay? And, but again, just like the other one, it doesn't really matter what the subject is, because if you notice the subject is I, he, they, and you. Now all they're different, but it's gonna, independent of, of what the subject is, we're always gonna be using the to infinitive, okay? So any questions about that so far? No, teacher, I'm good. Yeah. Okay, so what I want, I would like you guys to do is individually, I want you to complete this, okay? I would like you to complete um, the, the sentences here. Now, these sentences, um, they, you can choose whatever you want to, to write. So um, you basically can create your own sentences. Okay, so I'll give you a little bit of a chance right now to do that. And if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me.
Oh, by the way, guys, um, there is a, a spelling mistake in number six. Well, actually in number five and number six. So I'll just correct it right now. Um, there's a typo. So let me just change that so you guys don't get confused. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, the, the contractor, the would you like to, the would you like, uh, how, how do you say, uh, for, for example, number four, uh, we would like to, how, 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 how is the pronunciation, the contraction, the, the would like? Okay, that's a very good question. Just give me a moment, I'm going to change this. And I'll answer that in a moment. Okay. All right, guys. So there you go. So you didn't have to confuse. Good. Yes, this is a very good. Uh, I, I'm glad you noticed this. There is a contraction here. And um, when when we contract the wood, we use it exactly like the contraction of had, right? Remember how we contract had? Um, is the same thing with wood. So I'm going to write it here on the side. I think you can see it, right? Can you, can you see where I'm writing? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, so we have here the different, um, the different, uh, what's it called, um, subjects, okay? And we can contract them using the apostrophe D, okay? which I'm going to change the color. So in all of them, we can put, well, actually, no, not all of them. Um, the ones I'm going to put on, we're going to put the D, the apostrophe D. Okay, so this is how we would say it. Okay, so it's, this would be I'd, I'd, okay, you'd, okay, you can, you can, you can say it after me, okay, so you can repeat, I'd, 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 you'd, 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 you'd now what you probably have already noticed is that I didn't put a one over here for it, and the reason why I didn't put it for it is because it cannot be contracted, okay? So this one, we have to use a full form. Okay? This one has to be used in full form. Okay, so we have to say, I would, or it would. It will. Okay, and the reason we cannot contract contracted is it's pretty much because the it finishes in, in a consonant sound it right it. so because it finishes in a contract sound it doesn't sound natural to add the word contracted because remember the word contracted is d sound it's a consonant so it, it sounds it doesn't sound right to say it to do right mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that doesn't sound good. That, that sounds horrible. So that's why the other ones, they finish in a vowel sound. I'd, so I, you, he, he, we, you, they. You, they. Right? So that, that makes it easier. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So um, are you guys finished? Finished already? Yes. No. Not yet. Yeah, Yes. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and share. Uh, let me have. Okay. Let's have uh, Julio Cesar help me with the first one. I'd like to. What would you say? Okay. I, I would like to buy a new car. Okay. Good, I would like to buy a new car. Sure. Right. Just... We all do, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. Unless you bought, unless you already bought a brand new car, probably you feel the same way. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. All right, next. Would she, Magali? Would she? Magali? Sorry. <laughs> uh, would she have a new dress? Would she have a new dress? Okay. Yeah. Would she have a new dress? Yeah. All right. So like you're basically saying like a possibility. Would she have a new dress? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. I have a I question. Was, I was going down. Is have or has? Sorry? And uh, in number three is has, he has an address? Oh, okay. That's a good question. What do you guys say? We have or has? Have. Have or, has. or has? Have. Have. Uh, Why? Uh, the auxiliar. B, it's gotta be on the base form. Right, exactly. Oh, yeah. Because it have to it has to be in the base form. So have a new dress. So yes, okay. very good observation. Even though it's she, okay. So even though we have she over here, we're gonna be using have because it has to be in the base form of the verb. With when we use a lot of uh, model verbs. The verb in the, the base form. Yes, exactly. It's a rule. That's a rule. 100% okay. of the time, when you have a model auxiliary, all the model auxiliaries that we have talked about today, uh, sorry, this week, like um, we've talked about may, might, can, could, um, would, um, would like to. I think those are the only ones we've talked about. I think. What else have we talked about? Can, could, may, might. Do, Did does. Huh? Uh, no, model, model auxiliaries. auxiliaries. Model auxiliaries. Okay, may, might. Uh, may, might. Would. Would, would like. Um, can, can, could, could. Can, could. could. That's it. That's it. Okay, so all of those ones that we have talked about, all of them, we uh, well, we after that we use um, the 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 to infinitive. Sorry, the, the the sorry the base form of the verb, except for except for uh, would would like with would like you have to use the the to infinitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. 
Um, sorry, guys, I skipped number two. I went to number three. I should, I should have gone to number two. I'm sorry about that. All right, let's have, let's have, let me see, Fabiola. Fabiola, can you help me with number two? Mr. Trujillo wouldn't. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't make the thing of art. Sorry, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't what? Made the change. Would it make the change? Made change. This? Quiere cambiar el artículo. Made the change of article. Of item. Of item. Article, I think she said. Yeah, but um, uh -huh. in this case, we, in English, we say item, not, we don't say article because article, article is, um, can be in English, article is articulo de, de, um, como de para de lugar, or articulo de, mm -hmm. um, de gramática, de, de, por ejemplo, um, like a and the, that's an article. Okay, so it would be a change of item. Um, okay, mm, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't make the change the change of item. So, Mr. So, but you what you're saying is the Señor Trujillo no um, no no hizo el cambio el artículo. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for example, number two, Mr. Tujillo wouldn't uh, run in the morning. Is is correct use the time? For for example, in the morning, in the afternoon, next year, uh, with, would or would you like? Would would like? Okay. Si, si podemos utilizar como el in the morning, Next year, con, con el wood y el budo line. Yeah, because those are compliments. That's just a, an adverb that gives us more information. So, yeah, that's mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go to number four. Um, let's see. We will have. Uh, Juan Francisco, help us. We'd like to. Okay. We'd like to go to the Comic Con in Japan. We'd like to go to Hong Kong in Japan. Yes. Okay. We'd like to go to Hong Kong in Japan. Comic Con. Comic Con. Oh. Okay, repeat. We'd like to go to? Comic. The Comic. Comic Con. Comic. What was the other word? Uh, comic Con. Uh, C O M. Like that? Or like this. M, M. M yes. like, as in, like as in mother. Okay. So Comic Con in Japan. Yes. Okay. Good. We'd like to go to Comic Con in Japan. I'm right. Okay. So that's a decision we make and we prefer that. Sure. That's good. All right. Good. Um, Okay, good. And the last, oh, sorry, number five. Um, number five, let's have Marvin. Marvin, can you help us with number five? Yes, teacher. Would you like to go home now? Uh, number five. Oh, sorry. Number five, she will not outwin those people. Okay, she wouldn't. 
She wouldn't what? She wouldn't have without people. Okay. What is the verb that we need to use? Go. Okay, good. We need a we need a, a verb, Marvin. So the verb would be she wouldn't go go out. Good. In fact, she wouldn't go out. Remember that out is not a verb. Out is a preposition. So okay. she wouldn't go out. With, with those, those people. people. Okay. She wouldn't go out with those people. She wouldn't go out with those people. Sure. Sounds good. All right. Let's go on to the next one. The last one. Uh, we'll have. Who can help us? Let's see. Um, let's see. Where's him? Isn't giving me an answer. Um, Manuel. Manuel Montoya. Are you there, Manuel? Manuel Montoya? No? Not there? Okay, we'll ask someone else then. Um, soy la Noemi. Help, could you help us? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Uh, would, would you like to dancing? To go dancing? Okay, would you like to go dancing? Good, all right. And I love the way that that you changed it because at first you said, would you like to dancing? But in remember after, after would like, we use the to infinitive and the to infinitive is not to dancing. We have to use the to plus the verb in the base form. So in this case, the, you change it to, to go instead, right? To go dancing, yeah. which is great. Excellent. All right, bravo guys. <laughs> All right, I can see that you guys understand this. Any questions so far? Uh, teacher, yeah? Um, uh, number six, uh, it is possible it similar. Uh, would you like to the word fencing, work up this month? Or do go the word fencing, work up next month? Can you repeat that again? Okay, teacher. Um, would you like do the do the war fencing next month, or would you like to go the war fencing next month? So, uh, um, uh, the bears go. Oh, come, oh, right. sorry, es, es necessary to go. Or yeah, no in necessary. the first one, you were missing the verb. Right, if you said, would you like to, and then you said, would you like to, um, would you like to, they, would you like to go, the word fencing. Exactly. Or work so you, you or the, work verb. the verb Next in this month. case would be go. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No? Okay. All right. So remember, it, a very e fun and easy way um, to do this is by contraction, right? So it says, I, you can say, I'd change this product. He'd buy there again. We, oh, and in this case, with, we, the, we, there is already a contraction. The contraction is of the, the wouldn't, right? Because this is would not. So this was already contracted. This one would not, we would not use a contraction because it's a question, right? But it's possible to say also, I'd like to change this product. He'd like to buy this again. And this is already contracted. And this, of course, is a question, so it can't be, it can't be contracted. All right, good. Okay, um, 
Before we continue with our class, let me take attendance again. Uh, do I have Alejandra Maria? No, right? Okay. Um, Andres Giovanni? Yes, I'm teaching. Okay, good. Do I have Edgar Alfredo? Present teacher. Okay, good. And Elsie Janet? Elsie Janet, no, right? Okay, so let's see. Fabiola Georgina? Fabiola okay. Georgina? Oh, there she is, okay. Okay. Good. Uh, Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier. Francisco, are you there? Uh, Francisco, I don't know if you're having problems with the microphone and the camera. Hello, Francisco. Are you there? I'm here. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Uh, Sorry, as an hour. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I understand. Um, all right. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that you were actually there. Okay. All right. Good. Um, Irene? Irene Azucena? No? Still no signs of her? Jennifer Magali is here. Present. Okay, uh, Jose Alberto. Present. Good, excellent. Um, we have uh, Juan Francisco. Present. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Julio Cesar. Yes, I'm still here. Okay, good. Carla Cano. No, Carla, no, no, Carla. And the other Carla either, right? No, Carla, no, I mean. Okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro. No. Uh, Manuel Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Okay. Maria de los Angeles. Huh? Maria de los Angeles, no? Marvin Wilfredo. I am still here, teacher. Yay, okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, Warner. I think I saw Warner. Present teacher. Yeah, he's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Soila Noemi? Present. Okay, good. And Suleim Maivon? Present. Perfect, okay. All right, my goodness, we're missing so many people today. Wow, we have lots of people that are missing. Okay, all right, but I'm glad you guys were able to connect. Um, and um, yeah, thank you very much for that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the, the second part of the class, which is basically a review. A review of everything that we have learned until this moment. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the vocabulary practice. Okay, so um, we're, today, uh, well, at the, the beginning of the week, we looked at some vocabulary related to um, to purchasing things online, okay? So what I want you to do, you're gonna be matching, first thing you're gonna be matching the words, the words in green with the words that are in orange. To give an example, I'm gonna do the first one for you, okay? Um, the first one is uh, credit cards, what do you think would be the answer? Credit cards? Of payment. Of payment. Payment? 
Credit cards payment? Information. Notice it's not just payment, it's up payment. So do we say credit cards up payment? Probably not, right? So what would be the I best think, answer? I think it's information. Right, credit cards information. Yeah. Right? Okay, credit cards information. That's what we, that's what they would ask for if we were going to ask for, if we were going to be ordering something online, the credit cards information. And remember we talked about the credit cards information includes the name of the person, the, car, the, the number of the card, the expiration date, and the security code, right? Okay, so what are you, so don't do this yet. I'm just explaining. Um, so that's, that's this activity. And with the, also with the vocabulary practice, um, vocabulary practice, we also have um, Oh, wait, no, wait a sec. Sorry, guys. Sorry, my mistake. Just this, okay? So, Reyna, uh, sorry, yeah. So, go ahead. I want you to complete this, okay? Individually, I want you to complete this. So, like I said, the first one has been done for you. Well, we did it together, better said. Okay, so we have credit cards information. A bit nicer. Okay. So I'll give you about two minutes to do that. I think it should be enough. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are you finished? Do you need more time? Yes, teacher. Anybody need more we time? We need more time. More time? Okay, how much more? A minute? A minute. A minute. Okay. One more minute, guys.
Okay. All right, guys. Let's start with. Let's see what you guys have. Um, we'll start with um, Juan Francisco. Help us with the first one. Confirm your information. Submit. Sorry, what was that? Is submit. Confirm your information. And what goes, submit. What goes together? Together with the confirm, confirm your information. What? What kind of information? And with submit. Okay. Mm. Submit. Yeah. Um, I and, oh, okay. And submit. And submit. Yes. Should be and submit. You're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But it should be and submit. So there. Actually, this is this is a typo as well. So let's make this. And right here, I'm going to put the word and. Yeah, because otherwise it doesn't make sense. We need to add the word and in there. Let me write the word and. Uh, so, uh, so confirm your information and submit. Very good. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see who else. Um, hello, Manuel. Can you help us with number th uh, number? Well, this one. Select the item, Manuel Montoya. You know this one, Manuel. Select the item or items. The select item, <clears throat> the price. Uh huh. Select, select the items. What? Purchase the price. Is it purchase or the price? Yes. Purchase or the price? Which one, Manuel? Uh, uh, pardon, purchase. To purchase, very good. Select the items okay. to purchase. Excellent. Bravo. Very, very good, Manuel. Okay. All right, Warner, help us with number four. This one over here. Number four. Um... Let me see. Go to the um, go to the online web web page. Very good. Go to the online web page. Excellent. Go to the online web page. Right, right. Let's have. Let's see. Um, Julio Cesar, what are you gonna write? Oh, right. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> write the billing address. Excellent. You're going to write the billing address. Very Tengo good. Eso. And um, <laughs> one. Puedes apagar tu campo. O sabes que metete. Estoy en clases ahorita. Espérame un rato. Ya te, voy a, ya te lo voy a dar. Ok. ¿Dónde está el cable de la tablet? What are you going to check? Check the price. Check the price. Very good. Excellent. You're going to check the price. Mm -hmm. Good. And uh, Andres, what are you going to confirm? Good. Confirm the method of payment. Excellent. And finally, the most difficult one, 
This one's going to be very, very difficult, I know. But let, let's try. Maybe Fabiola can help us with this one. Good. Log in your account. Very good. Which is the last one that's left. All right. Good. Any questions about the vocabulary here? No, teacher. It's pretty clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so what we're gonna do now is the following. I go I'm going to get you, let me I'm going to erase this so that I can show you the next page. All right, so I did that. And let me show you now the next page. Over here we have a table. We have a table of this, these are going to be reasons, reasons that people would give for a refund. If somebody were to get a refund, what, what reasons would they give? I want you to write only one, just write one acceptable reason and one that is unacceptable. So right now in this first one, you're going to write your name. Okay, over here you're gonna write your name. So to give an example, imagine, well, I'm going to write my name. So if I were going to do this, if I was a student, I would be writing my name over here. Okay, so I'll write Jessica. And we're going to write, okay, so we have, Okay, and then over here, I want to write, I'm going to be writing something that I believe that is going to be a, an, a, an acceptable reason to, for someone to get a refund, okay? And then over here, this is gonna be an, a reason that somebody would give that would not be acceptable to have a refund. Something that would not be acceptable, unacceptable for a refund, maybe it's like, um, it, for example, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. It would not be would not be a, a an acceptable refund reason. Okay. So what I want you guys to do right now is think of two reasons: one that's acceptable and one that is not acceptable. Okay. And I want you to, um, I want you to write it. Okay, so I'm going to give you about a minute to think about reasons and write it in the first line. Okay. Okay, teacher. One minute. Just one, just one reason for each. One that it's acceptable, one that is not acceptable. All right, are we ready? Not ready yet? Not ready yet. Not ready yet, okay.
Okay. You guys ready now? Just one for each. That's it. I don't want you to complete the whole thing. Like, I don't want you to complete the, um, the table. Just complete the first part for yourself. That's it. Mary, tráeme el teléfono, porfa. Okay. All right. I think you should, you guys should have uh, one reason for each. So what you're going to do now, since uh, you notice up here it says interview, I'm going to be I'm going to be sending you guys to um, the breakout rooms. Okay. And what I need you guys to do is you're going to be interviewing your other classmates, and you're going to ask them what they believe like what they believe are acceptable reasons and unacceptable reasons. So over here, you're gonna write the name of your classmate, okay? So over right here, we're gonna have like, for example, um, classmate number one. Okay. okay, and their reason, like, right? And then over here, there would be classmate number two. Okay, and then over here, we will have classmate number three. Okay, so in total, you're going to be interviewing three classmates, and, um, you're, and you're going to be writing each classmate's acceptable reason and each classmate's unacceptable reason. Sounds good? We all understand what we're going to be doing here? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's, I'm going to stop sharing here and let's get you guys into, into groups. Um, probably, let me see, there are 14 of you, so let's see. Um, I'm going to get you guys, yeah. So, recreate, okay. All right, so you should be able to, yeah, you should be able to interview at least three people because everybody's going to be in a, in a group that has at least four people, including yourself, or mm -hmm. five. So let's go ahead and open the groups. Here we go. Go ahead and join your groups. Sorry, yeah, wrong, wrong shipment. Yes. Wrong specifications. Yes. Wrong shipment, okay. And unacceptable reason? <laughs> I did not like the packaging. Packaging? No packaging. Que no me gustó el empaque. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like the package. Packaging. The packaging. Because oh. package is one uh -huh. thing and packaging is another. So package is paquete. Y packaging mm -hmm. is envoltorio. Uh, okay. Correct. Okay. I did not like the packaging. You don't like the packaging, okay. Um, Josue. Okay. Acceptable reason, the products doesn't work in. 
Okay, and okay. Um, more, more, slow, more slowly, please. <laughs> yes, yes. Product, product doesn't work. Work, working. Okay, and unacceptable reason? I want a new version of the product. Teacher, yeah. is correct new yeah. versions or how can I say? Una nueva versión del producto. The what? Una versión actualizada, una nueva versión. O sea, oh, okay, un yeah. The modelo diferente, a different. The new version. Oh, uh, yeah. I want okay. to a new version of the product. Okay. Fabiola? Um, I think about this one. Damage the product. What? Damage the product. Uh, Damage the product. Damage. Damage. Okay, and an acceptable reason. I didn't do like the color. You don't like the color. Okay. Now for me, acceptable like reason, acceptable reason is, uh, Product don't work like the specifications. The product doesn't work. The product doesn't work. Uh -huh. Product doesn't work like the specifications. Okay. Do you guys have any questions so far? No. No, Chip. Uh, unacceptable reason. Unacceptable. If you guys need any help, just um, call me over. I'm gonna go in and help another group and see if they need Okay, help. teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, unacceptable reason is the product. I don't like okay. it anymore. English. I don't love I, the products or anymore. No, I, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't uh, like it anymore. Anymore. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Y tú pusiste, Andrés, I don't, I don't want, want it, ¿verdad? The product anymore. Huh? Okay, I don't want. Esa es, esa es, eh, uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, yeah. That. That's that's that would be an unacceptable reason for refund. I don't like it. I don't mm. want the product anymore. Okay. Wow. Okay, and what about Edgar? What do you have uh, for for an acceptable reason for free fund? Hello, Miss Jessica. What do you have for an acceptable reason for free fund? You're asking me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I gave mine um, before. I, it could be something just like uh, I changed my mind. I don't want it anymore. Right, I um, oh, okay. could also, um, another, there was another another group that was saying, for example, some people may say, oh, I, I want the, the, the newer version, right? So right. that would like, if you imagine you, you buy a cell phone and you say, no, 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 I want the newer version. That would not really be a, a, a reason for a refund. A good reason, mm -hmm. an acceptable reason, right. 
an acceptable reason. Okay, uh, where were we? Uh, Edgar, right? What do you have, Edgar? Bad, uh, bad presentation. Uh, that would be an acceptable reason. Bad presentation. Bad presentation. Of the prior? Yes. Yes. Bad a presentation. The product. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Unsentable reason. Ah, eh? oh, no, 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 sorry. A sensible reason. Okay. And, uh, and what about an. <clears throat> what do you have for an uh, un unacceptable reason? Edgar? Uh, I. I didn't like uh, uh, the price. <laughs> but you have already paid for it. Um, or now that you paid for it, you think that it's too expensive, maybe. Could be, right? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense, right? It may be that you saw, okay. some, you saw the product in another place and you said, oh no, it's, I paid too much. Yeah. All right, and we are with uh, Werner. What do you have for acceptable reason uh, for a refund? That much. Yes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, and a messy. <laughs> Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I am so messy. And especially with my two dogs. Oh, really? Yeah, they are very messy. <laughs> <laughs> they play with, uh, ay, como digo eso. Ay, quiero ver. Ah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They play with leaves. What does leaves mean? Hojas. <laughs> leaves? Dry, dry leaves. Hojas secas. Are you guys finished? Yeah. Are you guys yes. finished? Yeah, okay, all right, perfect. Okay, you know what? Um, since you guys are already finished, then I'm going to get you guys to work on the next exercise, uh, which is this one right here. Okay, all you gotta do, uh, remember demonstrative pronouns with uh, that, these, Sorry, yes. that, this, these, that, those. So as a group, I want you to decide we would be the best, the best word to put in each one. That, so we have. You breathe, okay. teacher. Huh? So I want you to use the word that, those, this, or these. these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as a, as a group, try to figure it out. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Hey, okay, guys. Something mm, like that. Number one. How could 